welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video one i'm very excited to film because i love ikea and today i have put in an order of lots of little bits there's no big furniture within this video i'm sure there will be plenty of them to come once we've renovated this property and need to start filling out the rooms which if you want to follow along on our journey you can find me over on instagram at freya Farrington home and then this i got for my little barney boo if you want to follow him he's on instagram too but how giant is this teddy bear so fun story well, it's not really that fun but anyway i have actually two look at me sat here cuddling i have two ikea toys the teddy bear and the little lion cub that he has had since he got here and he loves them he doesn't rip them apart he does play a little bit of tug of war with them but he likes to suck them and like pour the bed when he's going to sleep and gets proper tired so these are great because they don't have any like hard bits in so i might cut out this tongue just because he'll probably rip that off um but and also it seems <laughs> really strange just sticking out like that this is 17 pounds we're not going to talk about that but we're just going to talk about the fact that he's going to be so happy and he's going to have a new friend to hump <laughs> but anyway that's the main reason why i put in an order with ikea i'll show you guys um a bit later on at the end of this video him playing with that if you want to stay tuned for a little bit of puppy injection into your life but that is the main reason why i put in this order and then there were loads of other little bits that i thought oh yeah need that oh yeah need that need that need that now delivery on ikea at the minute seems pretty ridiculous it was saying like one to two months delivery or click and collect tomorrow so i went for the click and collect option and yeah i've got a couple of big bags worth of goodies i did actually take these ones myself because i have a few of these from previous ikea hauls i think they're about pound 50 each these bags but they're just a little less of an eyesore than the bright blue and yellow ones that ikea do and they're zippable as well so super handy these were great in the move the house move we use these um, anyway, they're full of goodies. Before I jump into this haul, I wanted to share with you this cozy jumper that I have just recently purchased. If it's not already live, it will be my next video coming up and it is the second part to my supermarket installment. Firstly, I went to Tesco's and did a huge homeware fashion shop. This time, I went to Morrison's super impressed so stay tuned for that i'll actually show you everything put links to everything in the description box below for you to check out price points and everything as well uh okay so first things first i got a few photo frames to stockpile and keep away for when we've renovated to put out i loved the kind of antique gold effect of this i've never seen this color before in ikea so i don't know if it's new or not it's the Ver versarum range and I also picked up the smaller one. I thought these would be really nice. Well, anywhere in the house, actually. I was going to say, like, in Tom's office in the top floor. Kind of rich antique gold. But we're kind of probably going to go with brass features anyway. So, yeah, this one's 30 by 40 centimetres. But you can have us. It's got, like, the inner passepartout. I think it's called and then this one also has a little pass part two as well nice little duo there super affordable there frames at ikea i would always recommend the frames at ikea as being good value for money so yeah picked up those and then i also saw these two gold ones which again i've never really spotted before and they come with little pictures already in them which i thought looked quite nice as they are anyway so this one comes with a little dragonfly super cute and it's one of these like glass ones where you just put your image in the middle like i said i quite like that image anyway it does have a little hanging decorative thing as well although i quite like these kind of just lent up against a bigger one and then this one is i'll actually open it it's one of these photo frames that kind of just is a freestanding one that you open up like so it's got the protective film on which i'll keep on for now until i actually need to put this out and you know properly style it up i think they had them in black as well if gold isn't for you i got a little selection of mugs to add to my ever-growing collection of mugs but also for builders they're quite handy to have loads of backup mugs and um, these ones i got in the plain glass i wanted to see the difference in size this is huge. So this would be great for like a real big hot chocolate squirty cream, the whole works. 
and then this one just for like a standard latte coffee or tea uh, but yeah this one's huge and again super affordable all their mugs are like a pound to two pounds and then these two i got i actually love this one i'm so glad i ordered this i might get a set of these to actually have for if and when in future we have guests and you want a table place set up for brunch in the morning then these are really pretty they're like a corrug not corrugated like a ribbed glass effect glass they're not glass either ceramic in just a plain and simple white very white company love this style and yeah picked up one definitely gonna pick up more and then i got this one for more of like the aesthetic of it reminds me of something that you'd find in like a zara home i just really love the kind of aged worn look to it it's almost a gray blue color which I thought it'd be more grey white, but yeah, it's definitely quite a cool tone to that one. I don't know if I'd get a set of these. It's nice just to have a one off. And then lastly for mugs, I also picked up one of these just to try out. This is one of the longer latte style glasses, which again, super cheap. So aesthetically pleasing in my opinion that um, I would definitely be willing to pick up a set, but maybe just to have like four of those. These, I'd probably get a full set of like eight. And then this little glass box that they packaged up so that everything was protected houses some red wine glasses. I thought that was a chip, but it's just a bit of cardboard. Um, red wine glasses. We've got some Zara Home ones, which are, I think, better suited for white wine. And they're out of stock in the red wine. They always seem to be. If they come back in stock, I might look at purchasing them but to be honest with you they're not too dissimilar to these ikea ones and these ones are a fraction of the price how nice is that shape i love it so i picked up a set of four of them and then the last thing in this glass protective little carrier is this vase now i thought this was going to be a lot smaller than what it is so i'm quite glad it is the size it is it's perfect for just like propagating a plant or just having like a single stem of something or even just as a decorative piece on top of a coffee table book love the simplicity of this and it's got a slight design on it but nothing too overboard love that and then i got this <laughs> embarrassingly i am now at that age no it's not even at that age it's just easier to to use a shoehorn so i got a shoehorn i think these are quite handy for getting off like ankle boots but also obviously for guys for like loafers or broke style shoes oh dropped it so even maybe in tom's wardrobe that'd be quite nice hung up somewhere and again so cheap i got myself a travel flask i don't have one this size tom does he's got a stainless steel one that um he uses quite a lot so i thought i'd pick myself one up i think they had different colors but i obviously went for the beige and the black i just think it's such a really pretty color nice and simple good for long dog walks in the future I picked up these for a potential little DIY that I may or may not do, probably will at some point. These are just a set of paint brushes and I'll also need to get a scraper, which I did actually get a scraper, um, a bowl scraper, super handy, like a silicon thing for like when you're baking to really get everything out of it. That's what that's for. And they had it in pink as well. I went for the duck egg blue kind of color. But this might also come in handy for this little DIY that I'm doing. You know, everywhere on Instagram and TikTok, they've got these big canvas arts prints DIY at home where you just use poly filler or white paint to kind of give it a bit of texture on the canvas. And it looks quite designer inspired. And yeah, I thought I might try it out, maybe, we'll see. Next up, I got these fragrance sticks, which I thought were super intriguing. They're basically like a reeds that are already fragrant, so you can just put them in a vase of your choice, like some kind of little vase like this, to have fragrance sticks out instead of flowers, or dried flowers in that case. Um, I just, yeah, I thought that was really intriguing. They had different colors, and I went for just the neutral kind of gray, charcoal gray color. Okay, and oh. <laughs> Next up, I got these four in the kitchen. These are a set of two oil or sauce dispensers for like maybe outdoor summer barbecue type things. I just thought this would be quite handy to have like balsamic oil, olive oil in and have as a little jubo. Don't know if it'll work or not. And then online, they actually had these labeled up with these labels. So I thought I would pick up a box of these. How many do you get? You get 50 labels of two different varying sizes in and they're actually clear. They're not white, I don't think. I'm pretty sure they're clear. At least they were on the website on these bottles. They were clear. So 
yeah, just really handy to have. I'm a label maker person. I'm a list maker. That's just what I like. I like organization, aesthetically pleasing, organized cupboards make me happy. If that isn't adulting, then I don't know what is. I got this travel flask, which I thought was super handy. And it's actually a collapsible one in gray and white. Let me open it. So I'll actually show you what it looks like. And it is super handy because in the cupboard it takes up no space and in your bag or whatever, it can take up no space. If you empty out, maybe take it to work, you can fill it in the morning and then just pop it in your bag to go home with at night. So that's the lid. Let me see if I can Oh God. <laughs> oh, do you push it out that way maybe? Huh? Oh, there we go. Just pop the lid back on. You've got yourself a little collapsible. I got this for upstairs in our bathroom. We've got some leftover hand soap. It takes us forever to get through hand soap and I've always got backups, but it's red and it's like a festive scent and I, I hate waste. I don't want to get rid of it, but there's like half of it left still. So rather than have out a Christmassy hand soap, I thought I'd just pick this up for, I think it was about a pound. Black and white, super simple and we'll be able to have it out without the need to waste anything and it look a little less festive. I got this little night light. I thought it'd be quite handy to have maybe if and when we're doing renovations and maybe Barney needs to sleep, like not in the room he's in or in a different room and it's pitch black, then just have a little cute night light. But anyway, I just like the simplicity of it. It's super simple and it's kind of like frosted, so it's not a light. It's just a really nice, subtle, warm light. It's the sort of, Thing that um, would look nice on like a tray in a spare room or something anyway. I saw this vase and I thought it was stunning. So I decided to pick, well, I say vase, it's actually more of a plant pot. I just love the kind of texture to it. Super simple, but um, really nice in terms of, you know how I like to keep with the neutrals, <laughs> as you guys know, um, to play around with different textures and stuff, I love. So I just love the kind of worn, distressed effect of this one quite generously sized and they do have a smaller one available as well. They didn't have it online for available for click and collect though, otherwise I would have picked up both. And they actually have one quite similar on the white company. So I'm thinking of maybe including that along with a few other ideas I have for another kind of edition, maybe spring edition for white company dupes video. I've not done one in a while. So if ever you guys spot white company dupes out and about, definitely send them to me over on Instagram because I will be sure to include them within my video. I also picked up two packs of candles, pillar candles. I love the texture of these. Super like on trend and kind of designer inspired. The fact that they have like that texture, that rib texture, love that. So set of three, these ones are scented, which honestly, I prefer unscented when it comes to pillar candles, um, but I might not burn these. So I might just have them out for like more of a display. 30 hour burn time, seven centimeters. And then I also picked up these, um, ooh, are these, yeah, these are scented as well, but they have like pastries on the front. So maybe these ones are like a sweeter. They're not too overpowering. I can just about smell it coming through, but anyway, 30 hour burn time again, seven centimeters. These ones, I love the color of these as they are like a white, a really warm beige and a warm gray. Love these colors so much. I'd have liked it if these colors were in this texture because you can kind of see the difference. These ones are a bit more pinkier, the colored ones, kind of. But these ones are definitely more my color palette as you can tell by the backdrop. Then I got some storage type things. I got three of these lidded boxes. Oh no. Oh, okay, jump the gun there. I thought they'd only sent two lids, but one of them here already has a lid on, so that's that's fine. Um, yeah, lidded boxes, super handy. They're quite shallow, these ones, which makes it good for um, storage, for putting within drawers, so that you can actually have things separated within your drawers, within individual boxes. So I love that. And then I also picked up this little canvas bag. I'm not gonna lie, 
I, it's just a plain and simple bag. I thought this was going to be a lot bigger than what it was and I thought it'd be a lot thicker. It's not, it's actually quite a thin, flimsy canvas bag. It's just a plain, simple shopper tote, which is good for like groceries or just little bits. Maybe handy to have in the back of the car just so you've always got one to hand. The last of the storage bags, baskets I got is this. I love this. They did have another size available. Um, well, unavailable for click and collect. Otherwise, I would have got both. Um, but this is like a handled, let me open it, storage bag that opens up to kind of like a quite generously sized rectangular shape actually. I love these. I'm going to have to get more of these I think. I love the, um, the, the wicker baskets that Ikea do. I have quite a few. But this is a nice alternative. I feel like these might become very popular. So get them while you can, love that. Okay, the last thing that I got is actually a rail, which came with a couple of like buckets that hook onto the rail and a couple of hooks as well, I think. But I also got a pack of hooks to hang on. You can have like little accessories hanging from it. And then the things that I got to go on there as well are these little canvas hanging bags. I mean, an image from the website will better represent what this is going to look like. But I just love this. It's got like a little popper thing here that you clip onto the rail and have it hanging so you can keep things within that storage bag on the rail. And then equally this one too, this one's just a much bigger one that you can have maybe like by the door, back door, front door, wherever you want it in the porchway. And in here you can have like poo bags, dog lead, where you can hang the dog lead from the hooks. You could have um, like shopper bags, like that little tote that you can just grab and go, wipes, anything that you might need, hand sanitizer on the go to have in there. I just thought it was super handy. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up from Ikea. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Do let me know if you want future Ikea hauls when we start buying the bigger piece of furniture and everything. I'm sure I'll include it within my renovation vlog series type videos anyway. Stay tuned for the Morrison's haul coming soon and yeah I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys! What's this? Who's <laughs> Oh my god, it makes you look tiny! Wow! Ah, ah. Who is it? Is that your new toy? <sighs> He's getting so big! Mind you, in comparison, I'd say they're pretty similar in size. Do you like him? We need a name for him. Barney and... Who can his friend be called? Barney and... <laughs> we need another name. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is that fun? Get him. <laughs> I think we have one happy pup. Yep. So we say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye, guys. Ooh. <laughs>